Hey coach, in this video, we're going to talk about how to be a more efficient basketball trainer or coach so your players uh, improve at a faster rate um, and you can work on your communication skills. My name is Nick Aldero and I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. So if you're looking to grow your business, help more kids um, and talk with me, you can just text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315. It's on the board behind me uh, and we could set up a time to chat so I can learn more about what you're currently doing. So tip number one to being a better coach is players need to know how much time they're going to be spending on something because when a player doesn't know how long something's going to last for, what do they tend to do? They tend to coast, right? Think about if I told you, I was like, Hey, you know what coach, just, just run, start running. You're like, well, how long, how far? How, when, how when is it going to be over? You don't know how fast and how intense to go if you don't know when it's going to be over. So players need to know time. Okay, how long is this drill? 20 seconds? Is it for a minute? Uh, is it something where it's so tiring that like I need to know how much to push myself, right? So time is very important. Number two is going back to time again is starting on time and ending on time. So many coaches I see, like, they'll keep players later than they said they would. So if practice is 2 to 4, they'll get on anybody who's late, but then they'll hold the players to, like, 4.30, 4.15. So that just says that says to them that time is important on my end, but I'm allowed to take your time when it's over, right? Just like starting on time is important, right? You start right at 2 o'clock. By the way, you should start right at 2 o'clock if your training or practice is at 2 o'clock. 2.05 is late. 2.03 is late, like – Two o'clock is when exactly when we start. Players know to get there, whatever you want, 15, 10, five minutes before. You have to set that standard. But you also have to stop when you say you're going to stop. Otherwise, you're, you're communicating to them, my time matters, your time doesn't, I can hold you longer, right? You need to respect um, their time on their end too when practice is over, okay? Number three is teach in questions also. Don't just talk at people, ask questions. Like, for example, if you want to hint at somebody's, like, uh, uh, their back foot was turned too much and it needed to be open in their, like, drop stance, right? You might say, what did you think of your inside foot, the foot opposite from the ball? How did you think it was, the position of it, right? So you're leading them to think and feel. Now their next rep, they're going to be aware of it. Like, oh, yeah, I felt it turn too much and my hips closed and I was very committed over there as opposed to having it open. So teaching in questions allows them to almost you're not uh, teach themselves but your guide not teach themselves but you're guiding them in the direction that you want and they're going to come up with the answer which is really really good because it's, it's you're teaching them to think for themselves and to feel things um uh, in terms of like like we just talked about like whether we're talking about body position or maybe they're shot right so teaching questions don't always talk at people sometimes you just got to ask a question and see what they come up with Okay. Number four is details, right? It was kind of, we kind of went over a little bit detail right there, but great coaches teach in detail. They don't leave things out. Now, well, I'll go back to this, but details matter, right? Anybody can give vague, vague instruction, but the details are what separates good coaches from great coaches. Okay. Now, the next one is you don't have to give them all the details at once. So you can teach in digestible bites of information because if you give them everything, they're not going to be able to process everything. So let's say there's five keys that you want them to hit on with this specific drill. You might say, okay, this is how we do it. You know, give them a little bit of information or just demonstrate. All right, ready? I'm going to let you do it. And then we'll return back to see how you do it. Knowing that they're going to mess it up. So let them do it. Then they return back. And you're like, all right, this is the one thing I want you to focus on. Give them that one thing. Ready? Go. Now we do it again, right? So now they do that one thing better. Okay, now you give them thing number two. All right, well, now we're just going to focus on, so we have the first part down, right, guys and girls? Now we're going to go to this part right here, number two. I want you to really focus on that. So you're giving them a little bit of information at a time where they can actually um, apply it right away instead of throwing everything all at once. Everything all at once is very, very challenging. It's not that you can't do it, but if you do give them everything at once, 
you really can't go more than like three pieces of information that you want them to to focus on. And obviously that changes depending on the the age, the maturity, uh, the ability, things like that. Okay. Um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, there's a lot more that we can help you with, but we help coaches grow their business specifically. That was just kind of coaching tips in terms of the actual basketball coaching. But what we do here at Make Money Coaching Sports is we help basketball coaches turn their passion into a full-time income generating six figures plus per year. Um, I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. I used to be in the program. Uh, my mentor who and the founder of, of the business, Ben Neighbors, he was my mentor. He helped me tremendously. Was a, I was a, able to quit my teaching job and go all in on basketball. And now he helped me so much that I want to be a part of helping coaches as well. So if you're looking to connect, you can text me at the number behind me, 732-908-2315. Um, it's on the board. Or you can schedule a call on the calendar. The link will be in the description. Um, that call, if you do want to do it, or if you do want to text me, this is only for serious coaches who want to learn how to run their business better. Okay. So if you're like a side hustle guy, this wouldn't be for you. This is for people who want to, who are serious about taking what they love and turning it into a full-time income. So if that is you, I would love to speak with you. Okay. Make sure you click subscribe, like this uh, video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.